If Dems take the White House, that's the focus of tonight's angle. Serious times require serious leadership. And the last few days have furnished us with ample reasons for why Democrats should get nowhere near the Oval Office. Well, as the border crisis deepens, with the DHS reporting a near record 100,000 border apprehensions in April, this is what Joe Biden's thinking. I think that anyone who is in a situation regardless of whether they're documented or undocumented, we have an obligation to keep them together. That's why I think we need more clinics. More clinics, health care for illegals. Ooh. Why should anyone be surprised? After all, it was the Obama-Biden White House that rewarded hundreds of thousands of illegals with DACA work status. According to federal data obtained by Breitbart News, U.S. taxpayers already pay about a quarter of a billion dollars annually to provide health care to illegals who are in ICE custody. But that's nothing when compared to the 17 billion, yes with a B, that Americans pay out in medical care to illegals living inside the United States. Yet Biden's solution is to apparently dole out additional coverage at clinics to illegals and then make the trip even more attractive to them across the border. And that means saddling you with the bills. When Biden was VP, illegal immigration numbers were staggering. Now, remember, the unaccompanied minors crisis in 2014 was a nightmare. But five years later, the former VP is, well, blame shifting. This is a crisis created by Trump. This is a crisis created by the administration. And that's why, you know, it keeps, you know, this, this war is coming. <laughs> no, they're coming because Obama Biden did nothing to change the asylum laws. And because today's Democrats in the House, refuse to do that as well. Now, as you know, this past week, I saw firsthand in the Del Rio and Eagle Pass sectors of Texas how overwhelmed our very professional and hardworking Border Patrol is. And their processing centers there essentially have become daycare centers. We've got to pretty much try and get a hold of every type of formula we can so that we can get that child to take food, because they usually get here malnourished. Uh, if they aren't already sick with some kind of respiratory virus, we have to remove from the field patrols to fill bottles. And the good thing is, many of us are parents, so we know how to change diapers and we know how to feed bottles, but we do not have a staff specifically for that. It is a complete and utter scandal, and it's a disgusting abdication of congressional responsibility. Now, while Dem Democrats actually deny this reality, Trump has taken serious steps to address the border crisis. His plan to send asylum seekers back to Mexico as they await hearings was originally blocked by a federal district court. But this week, the Ninth Circuit ruled that the policy can continue, at least temporarily. That's good news. They're also training 200 Border Patrol agents to do enhanced asylum screenings right at the border. But expect a court challenge eventually to that as well. An immigration plan is going to be released, we hear, next week by the administration. And from what I hear, I'm going to like some things in it and probably not like some other things in it. But at least the president is facing the reality of what has to be done head on. And he knows he needs Democrat votes to do it. And while Brother Joe wants to extend health rights to citizens, look at this pic I snapped in Houston the other night when we were leaving the studio. Raymond Arroyo saw this and he said, let's stop. Those are homeless Americans on the streets of the city, and it was pouring rain. There's a huge flood in Houston yesterday. It was terrible weather, and it started the night before. So my question looking at this, I, it was heartbreaking. Shouldn't we be caring for our own citizens before we take responsibility for the indigent citizens of foreign countries? And speaking of foreign countries, on the trade front, no president in decades has been as dogged or tough in negotiating deals that are fair to American businesses and workers as Trump. Under the previous administration, the United States lost nearly a quarter of a million manufacturing jobs. You remember that. They let other countries raid our factories, steal our jobs, and rob us blind. Other than that, they were very nice. 
They allowed China to freely loot our economy, plunder our intellectual property, and target our industries for destruction. That's what was happening. Trump has been relentlessly negotiating a trade deal with China, and he's driving a hard bargain. Beijing had attempted to delay the negotiations scheduled in D.C. this week. Once the tariffs went on, them, they upped the meeting. It was supposed to take place originally on Thursday. Then, about five weeks ago, they said, how about Friday? How about next week? I said, what's this all about? And I said, that's okay. Let's don't worry about it. Let's take in $100 billion a year. And uh, we put the tariffs on, we made the statement, and then they upped the meeting. How about, let's go back to Thursday. I'm representing the USA, and he's representing China. And we're not going to be taken advantage of anymore. We're going to find out about China tonight, and I think in the end you're going to be very impressed. Well, while Trump is engaging the Chinese and holding out for the best deal for America, Ramblin' Joe is once again in denial. China is going to eat our lunch? Come on, man. They can't even figure out how to deal with the, 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 the fact that they have this great division between the China Sea and the mountains in the east, I mean, in the west. I mean, I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks, but guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, they're competition for us. Oh, my God. It's just actually, it's, it, it would be sad if it weren't so infuriating, and basically it's just embarrassing. Obama and Biden stood by while China continued to cheat and steal us blind in the United States. And if Joe ever took the levers of power again, it would be back to business as usual with China. In other words, China wins, we lose. But what about the other 2020 Democrat hopefuls? Well, if you think they have better ideas, you'd be wrong. Take Mayor Pete, last seen in a Vogue magazine shoot. With all his vast experience in international trade, he's weighing in on the China negotiations as well. China often works in terms of 20-year plans. I'm not sure this president thinks beyond his next tweet, and it shows in our policies. When it comes to trade, we need fair trade. Look, there's currency manipulation, intellectual property theft. There's all kinds of bad behavior going on uh, on the Chinese side. If we want to reverse that, reduce that, then there has to be some sense that we're going to come to the table and negotiate something better, not just lobbing tariffs over the fence. Aside the fact that one does not lob tariffs and there is no fence, what does he think Trump and Bob Lighthizer as USTR, the entire trade team, have been doing all this time? Reading Vogue magazine? Team Trump successfully negotiated our trade deal with South Korea. He did NAFTA over and is now on to the crown jewel of China. And it's going to be hard. It might not be possible. And the only reason, by the way, China's in town tonight, Trump's tariffs. We have a young man, Buttigieg. Boot edge, edge. They say edge, edge. He's got a great chance, doesn't he? He'll be great. He'll be great. Representing us against President Xi of China. That'll be great. That'll be great. I want to be in that room. I want to watch that one. Well, for the sake of the country, let's hope it's a scene none of us ever see. Look, the country can't afford another Democrat in the Oval Office right now, especially not from this radicalized version of the Democrat Party. They're not only bereft of policies that work, that are practical, they don't even recognize the verifiable threats that are bearing down on us, or the fact that this economy is on fire. And that's the angle.